Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of November. A lot of you are going to be watching this in October, but I have to tell you this is for November. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Pisces for November? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for November? Two cups. Well, two cups is love, right? Two of cups is a partnership, a union, falling in love, a potential soulmate relationship, a a connection, engagement, marriage, uh, happiness, right? This is about a union. It's about a partnership. Ship. <laughs> so this month you're going to be focusing on probably, I mean, this is, you know, the two of cups is typically to me, you know, it's a partnership, but it could be a soulmate partnership. Okay, potential soulmates. Um, yeah, so let's see. Focusing on a partnership, top priority, because it's one of the top two cards. So, partnership will be at the top of the list. Love. It's about balance. Twos are about balance. Balancing out what your heart wants. You know? Ooh! Ace of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity. You see two hands. I think that you are definitely going to be connecting with somebody this month. Uh, developing roots. Placing roots. Uh, going back to your roots. It's a time of growth, reaping some. Look at the peaches. I love peaches. Anyhow, uh, interesting. Um, shake your tree. Uh, shake your tree. What is that song? I just was starting to hear it. Those peaches want to shake your tree. Uh, who is that song by? Uh, God, it's bogging me. Steve Miller Band? That song, I don't, I don't want to shake your tree. Uh, anyhow, I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, Steve Miller Band is the name, is the band. Really want to shake your tree? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness gracious. So, whatever. This is a golden opportunity. Oh, I don't know if I should let this one go or not. The Ace of Pentacles is, is manifestation, okay? This is this is something you, you asked for, right? Maybe you didn't ask for it, but your heart wanted it because this is heart. Your heart, the universe hears what you want. It's just the way it goes. So anyway, the, the Ace of Pentacles, that is uh, a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift of love. But something is happening. Uh... It's a new beginning, and it leads. This is solid, permanent, stable, long term. So you definitely have a beautiful new beginning here. By the looks of things, it can grow. It can grow. I mean, if you think about the tree, okay, you, you plant a seed. There's the seed, which was probably planted a long time ago because now we got a tree. You know, so the the seed was probably planted a long time ago to get to this point of developing. You know fruit so anyway I feel like you are whatever is happening this connection probably was planted a long time ago so what do we got for Pisces for October an opportunity or windfall and this could be a windfall ace of Pentacles is 
stability. It's money. Okay, it's money. It's security. This And it is a golden opportunity. So you are getting an opportunity that started in October. Okay, so October was when, you know, you started to see some sort of fruit, perhaps. You know, October is very prominent. This may have been when it manifested or whatever the case is. So, you do have a new opportunity that is coming. It's going to bring you abundance. That is definitely abundance. Has to do with love. Has to do with a partnership. You're going to be receiving a reward. Because that is a reward. <laughs> so, Pisces. You're going to be reaping some sort of reward of something you planted a long time ago. You planted this seed a long time ago. Now it's time. Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, Reverse. So this is taking an opportunity that may have been missed in the past. The opportunity was ignored or missed or lost or something like that. Now the opportunity is clear. It's, you got to take it. Okay, this is a clear opportunity for love. Somebody's going to be taking that opportunity. There's an opportunity for happiness, extreme happiness here. So yeah, there's an opportunity for extreme happiness here that somebody missed that they're taking. Okay, that's a happily ever after right there. So somebody is taking an opportunity that they ignored or that they didn't want, or they're seeing it very clearly, that there is an opportunity for happiness here. This is a new opportunity, okay? It could be something brand new. Maybe somebody wasn't looking. They weren't looking for love. They weren't looking for anything. Here it is. Four of Cups reversed. That is a new opportunity, taking a new opportunity for happiness. So whether it's you, the crosswalk, I don't know. Somebody is taking an opportunity. It may have to do with a home because of this home. This is peace, bliss. This is permanent love. This is a spiritual blessing of some sort. You're about to get an opportunity. There is. And that, that it, it is. It's a big opportunity. A big opportunity for happiness in a partnership. To partner up with somebody. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, a tower. And, and it's funny because when I was shuffling, I saw the tower. I saw it upright and see it reversed. This one happens to be reversed. And I didn't say it because I didn't want to. But anyhow, um, this tower in reverse, avoiding, somebody has been avoiding something. They've been avoiding uh, dealing with something. This is avoidance, trying to avoid confrontation, right? But this is extremes. This is, this is something you never saw coming. It's a shock, extreme shock. Somebody may be extremely shocked. Um, taking a new opportunity. Building a new foundation. Somebody's going to be building a new foundation someplace else because where they're at, then faults. It's almost really like there's an. It, yeah, I don't know. I gotta be. I, I'm trying to. Well, I'm just going to say it. It feels like there has something. This is a home and this is a home. So, hmm, what is this? Ah, the Empress. The Empress is a creator, okay? She's a creator. She's unconditional love. She's abundant. She has it all. She's the pick. Everybody loves her. Could be dealing with Taurus. Could be dealing with a Libra. She is the blessing. She gives birth to a blessing. She's a, she's a miracle. Right? She delivers miracles. Um, the Empress, she knows her value. She's the goddess of love. Domestic goddess. Very loving. Uh, unconditional love. So this Empress is about to... Uh, well, she gives birth to a new life. She creates everything with love. She delivers. Okay? She delivers. So we have an Empress here. We have an Empress that is going to be shocked by the looks of things. Um... 
could have something to do with a Scorpio as well. Um, somebody's taking an opportunity right now. They are taking an opportunity. This Empress is very valuable. She is abundant. Very, very abundant. She has it all. She's not lacking for anything. <laughs> now, but this is typically in reverse a permanent loss. If you, this is this could be a permanent loss of some sort, and this is a relationship. So it feels like there's some sort of uh, disruption. You know, because this is a major disruption that breaks somebody free and lets them see that there's another opportunity for love. There's definitely an opportunity for love here with an empress. Okay, and if you are if you are the uh, Pisces, that would probably be you if you're the Pisces feminine. Um, this empress is glowing. She's beautiful. She's a lot to offer. She's very very abundant. Um, set. Very nurturing, has plenty. Relocation. Somebody is relocating. <sighs> yeah, this is a relocation. There's nothing left. There's no reason to stay here. It's time to go someplace else. There's some sort of permanent loss here. There's some sort of major disruption. Okay, and, and I don't know if it's a fight or an accident or whatever it is. Things, things fall apart for a reason. Something is falling apart, maybe in October. I don't freaking know. Could be, because this is 10. In October, which allows you to break free and go where your heart wants to go. Somebody is relocating. <laughs> that is a relocation. They're moving. They're packing up. There's no reason to stay. The season is over. You need to find a more fertile, fertile ground, you know, where there's more growth. There's an opportunity for a growth someplace else. Say so Eight of Pentacles. Something about work, job. Finding work someplace else. Somebody may be working someplace else, putting in effort. This is about working really, really hard and putting in effort, investing. Somebody's going to be investing and in growing a relationship. Could be self love for some of you. The Empress loves herself. She's, she loves herself first, therefore, she's available to love everybody else. Anyway, I think that, that if you are the Empress watching this, somebody's going to be putting in a lot of effort. They are. They're going to be putting in a lot of effort. And it could be you. If you're the Empress, you may be working, 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 working. That probably is the case. Anyhow, um, money is a lot of money here. This Empress is abundant, but it's time to go someplace else. A lot of money. It's time to go. This isn't stable. It's not solid. It's not working here. Taking an opportunity to leave. Somebody is taking an opportunity to leave. Ah, oh, hey man, that's your energy. That is that is uh, struggling to let go. On reverse, okay. This is hiding something. Somebody's hiding their feelings. They're struggling, struggling with their ego unfortunately missing an opportunity somebody is missing an opportunity trying to prove something uh, that is false they're trying to prove something that is false but I feel like they've become enlightened they're starting to see somebody is starting to see that there's nothing to prove it's about happiness I think that you are definitely being broken free from something that you have been tied to that was based on false pretenses. Somebody's getting thrown out or they're hitting the ground or leaving or something like that with that tower reverse. There is a permanent loss here. I think it's a surprise. I think it comes out of nowhere. But this loss 
allows you to see something that I don't freaking know you missed or that you didn't take. There's freedom here. Freedom. Freedom to go after your dreams or whatever it is. Move if that's what you're doing. Um, but that two of cups is about a partnership. It's about love. It's about soulmate. So this does have to do with a soulmate. It has to do with love and a new beginning. This is a new beginning where you are going to be happy. You're going to be happy. You're going to be free. You're going to be abundant. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks really, really good. You're going to be getting some sort of reward for all your hard work. I mean, there is a reward here. This is a blessing. You could be dealing with somebody that has some extreme health problems or fights all the time or something like that and that comes crashing down. You've been, you've, this is avoiding, avoiding, uh, I don't know, maybe a relationship or commitment or something or you've been trying to avoid something but you can't avoid it anymore. You can't avoid what your heart wants. I don't know what this is. Anyhow, one more card. This month you have a new beginning here. Okay, that Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. This is a new solid opportunity. Uh, something you can touch. New home. New home. New Because Ace of Pentacles is something you can touch. A hand. Partnership. See the hands? You may be, I don't know. I don't know. Something is happening here. Um, anyhow, um, there's a gift you're gonna this is a gift this is a true gift you're gonna be getting a gift gift of a new life because the empress gives birth to a new life she will give you a new life i don't know anyhow um empress the empress she is the giver of life she is she's very motherly Death. Death, of course. Death is an ending with a new beginning to follow, and that is exactly what we have. I think the ending must happen in October, and your new beginning happens in November. This is the end of a false sense of security. It is the end of a false foundation. It is the end of a loveless situation. It is the end of sacrificing yourself. It is the end of wasting time. It is the end of being stubborn. It's the end of letting ego get in the way. Okay? You have a new beginning here. It starts this month. Hard work. Work, 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 work. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to put in effort because this empress, <laughs> she knows her value. If you are the woman watching this, this is a feminine energy. It could be the man because Pisces is very feminine. Um, somebody's going to be putting in a lot of effort. We definitely have a hard worker here. But there's this hard worker is relocating. This is relocation. This is planning. Planning a relocation. Or something like that. Good luck. <laughs>